Hi, in today's video, we will talk about how you can create a YouTube faceless video with our AI agent. So we are going to teach you how you can create a an, an workflow to do this. So this is the video that we can output in this workflow. In the vast savanna, a young elephant named Kibo struggled to keep up with the herd. His legs were weak and his steps were slow. The others whispered, he'll never survive the dry season. One day, as the herd marched toward a distant waterhole, Kibo stumbled and fell behind. Great, this is the quick demo, and then um, let me show you the N8 workflow. So this one is the N8 workflow, and um, before we run the um, workflow, let me show you this uh, Excel first. So for the um, there are the, for this Excel uh, Google spreadsheets, um, there are video title, video URL, post status, post time, captions, and issues. So let's run this first okay so it's already completed so let's check our google sheets so um, as you can see the video titles um, video url post status um, captions are updated so basically this is the demo and then when we click this video url this one is a new video in the heart of the jungle, where the trees whispered secrets and the rivers sang lullabies, lived a clever little fox named Finn. Finn was known for his quick wit and even quicker paws. One day, as he roamed the forest, he... Great, so this is the quick demo. Okay, after we produced the short video for the faceless video uh, with the first workflow above, so we're going to upload the YouTube video to YouTube. So as you can see, this is our YouTube channel. Um, the short uh, video was not uploaded yet. And for the post status in on our Google spreadsheet, it is still pending. So let's run this workflow to uh, upload the YouTube video. Great, this workflow is completed. So let's check our YouTube channel. As you can see, when we click into our channel, the studio, the channel content, this video is uploaded. It's just processing. So yeah, we can click into it and check. Both the title and the descriptions were uploaded and this is the video link. In the heart of the jungle where the trees whispered secrets and the rivers sang lullabies, lived a clever little fox named Finn. Great. And then we go back to our Google Sheets and we'll see the post status is changed to posted. So, and the posting time is also put it here. So this is the quick demo and uh, we are going to dive into all the details and we are going to share you how you all can also do the same on your side. Before we dive into our NAN workflow, there are a couple of things we need to prepare in advance. So the first one, is of course, uh, Eleven Labs for the AI voice, OpenAI, Flux for the image, uh, Together AI, um, DeepSeek, Google Cloud Storage, and AnyNoteCode.com. Uh, we are using our own API and then provide you guys for free to use that. So there are two uh, workflows. The first one is to uh, produce a faceless video. So there are mainly five steps. The first one, of course, is initiate a workflow. And the second one is to generate the audio uh, using 11 labs. And then third one is to generate image uh, with the Flux AI model. And we'll combine transcript uh, and music together. And uh, finally, we'll finalize them and save the output and uh, put the details to the Google Sheets. And the second workflow, uh, which is here, is, is to upload the YouTube videos uh, to YouTube. So first of all, we need to grab the videos data, like um, the file paths, length from the Google Sheets. And then we'll download a video and we'll upload to YouTube and we'll update the video status uh, in the same Google Sheets. So basically these are the uh, workflows descriptions and we are going to dive into it one by one. Okay, before we start um, diving into the details of each node for the NNN workflow, we need to set up our credentials first. So first of all is uh, the DeepSeek API. So again, we use authorization uh, for the header auth. And then we go to deepseek.com. 
SS API. And then we go to API keys on the left side and then we click create new API key. Yeah, and this is the API key. And we need to bear in mind that we need to add this barrier, B-E-A-R-E-R, uh, before um, the API key. So we need to copy and paste both and then to the value of the um, DeepSeek API credentials. And then that's set for the DeepSeek. And after that, we're going to do it for the 11 labs. So we go to 11labs.io and then go to app and then um, we we'll click your own profile and the API keys and then you can create your own API keys as well and then this time you can just uh, copy and paste you don't need to you don't need to add the bearer like the dipsic so you can just cal copy and paste the API key here so it's set for 11 labs API. That is Google Cloud Storage Account. So you need to set a bucket for this Google Cloud. And then please remember to set the access to public to internet. It's for storage for image, background music, for voice. Yeah. And then, um, as you can see, API and services here. The credentials and this is for the edit one flow yeah you can create the credentials here by clicking create credentials and then get the api key and all of client's id and choose web application name your um, web applications and then um, choose uh, authorize redirect urls and then copy and paste here You can hit create and then you will get the client ID and then client secret key and it's set for the Google Cloud Storage credentials and then it will be the YouTube account credentials again we can go back to Google Cloud and search for YouTube data API version 3 and then we need to click the to enable the API and then we can go back to this API and service again and create the OAuth and copy and paste the OAuth redirect URL, client ID and client circuit key. And remember you need to sign in with Google to connect the account. So it's set for YouTube and then here it comes for the uh, Google uh, together.ai. Again we need uh, we need to use header auth and then we put authorization as name. We click uh, get started and then you can just copy and paste the API key. Uh, again, we need to add the barrier B-E-A-R-E-R before the API key. So uh, just copy it both and paste them as a value um, here on any, any credentials for the together API. And then uh, we we'll use the any no code API we created for you guys for free and then you can just copy and paste this API key and put it here great this one is for the image video generation so you can take a look at this documentation yeah so basically it's done for the credential setup Okay, so let's dive into each node one by one for the first workflow to produce faceless video. So this one is the video category. Uh, for the video category, uh, we choose animal story and the bucket name is nn-video. So it, it needs to be the same as the name that you name your bucket in Google Cloud Storage. And this is the any no code API uh, key. You can just copy and paste it. And um, and then we need are going to get the transcript from DeepSeek, so you can just copy and paste uh, this JSON. So basically, the prompt is to tell DeepSeek that um, uh, it is the uh, YouTube video script, script writer. The task is to convert video category into interesting story, 
and then duration of the video is around um, 30 seconds the tone is interesting storytelling and text only without any guiding text no uh, closing scene opening scene action text only voice over text yeah so basically you can just copy and paste and then we need to get the 11 labs so this is the URL and how we can get this URL is go back to uh, 11 labs and then we can choose the voice the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do yeah for example this one is the Adam Stone late night radio voice we can just copy this voice ID and then we can paste it here as a URL yeah and then you can just copy and paste it as a value here and then yeah basically it's how it works we can view here in the heart of the jungle where the trees whispered this secrets is the and voice. the rivers sang lullabies yeah this is a voice that we chose from 11 labs and reading um the script on the left hand side yeah and then we uh, say we wait and then uh, save the audio to here to go cloud storage as a voice and then uh, map the public link you can just copy and paste this yeah you can change your own audio uh, but remember remember you need to use any and hyphen video as the bucket name before dot storage dot google api dot com yeah this is very important you need to choose the correct bucket name great and then we now download the audio just copy and paste it again open um, ai whisper and then just copy and paste the URL using OpenAI account and then just copy this uh, body parameters uh, from front it timestamp model uh, model we are using whisper one and then for the name uh, I mean for the response format uh, please please remember to choose this one verbals um, underscore JSON and then for the um, parameter type any and binary file um, we need to put the name as file and then the data as input data field name okay, on the right hand side you can see the word um, and the starting time ending time so why we use um, why we are going to do this first of all we process the um, the transcript and audio uh, with whisper and then uh, we are labeling each word starting time and ending time for further processing and um, you can see the next note is create a list of image tags so um, the reason why in the previous note we um, label the starting time and ending time because in this stage in this note we're going to create a text to describe um, the uh, words like between that six seconds so we need to have that part to for for further purchasing and then you can just copy and paste this code yes and then for the text we use here is to have uh, to make it to make the flux image so this is a prompt this is a note we are going to use as you can see this one you can just copy and paste so this one you are an image prompt designer your task is to convert the following transcript text into image prompt for image generation model here are the styles of the image style um, hyperrealism 8k um, I'll put the prompt directly without image prompt don't include the slash double quotes etc so for the words we process in the previous notes we are going to use it here to turn it into a prompt for the flux image generation model to generate um, image for every single six seconds and then we get image base 64 um, this part we use um, to get the AI and then you can just copy and paste this again this is a prompt the model this is the model we use and then um, followed by the prompt and the negative prompt all right and then convert it to the image you can feel the image here basically this is the image um, produced by flux model uh, flux model is pretty good so we, we we use it as the future production and then wait save the image here to the google cloud bucket again 
All right. So we can see the object name here. So uh, as you can see, um, we, we need to index for the item and then plus one for each additional new image. And then the image link. You can just copy and paste it, image ID. This is um, the 10. We use 10 here, basically 10 images. And then we combine transcript. So um, as you can see, th these are different chunks of the transcript. We're going to combine all of them. So we have three words uh, for each chunk, three words for each chunk. And you can just copy and paste this uh, JavaScript uh, code into this node and then map the music uh, you can just copy and paste this link and of course uh, for this um, uh, mp3 we name as bg.mp3 you can uh, just put it as any um, mp3 you want um, just upload it into any and I mean for the bucket Google Cloud bucket yeah and then create a video you can just copy and paste the URL as well and then this is the JSON file you can just copy and paste so it's processing all the transcript or the image or the voice or the background music URL so we are using any no code uh, API uh, to process everything for you and you get this ID and wait for uh, one minute and then get feed approved progress and you we can just copy and paste this URL and this is the data ID that, that we just collect okay on the right hand side you can see the status is done and this is the URL um, for the output and then we need to get the caption from DeepSeek and on the right hand side you can see so we can just copy and paste this um, JSON file and then for this one um, it's a prompt to convert the following transcript into a YouTube Shorts caption ensure the tone is engaging and suitable for YouTube Shorts with a focus on facials hashtags and a call to action where appropriate and maintain the core message while adapting it for a longer and more expressive format so maximum total text length is 100 characters so basically you can just copy and paste it and after that we need to get the title again just copy and paste it uh, convert the um, uh, transcript into short titles yeah basically is how it works and then we can save the data into the Google spreadsheet again just copy and paste it just input the video title video URL post status captions etc yeah and yeah, basically it's how it works for the first workflow. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at our second workflow, which is to upload the video to YouTube. So it's uh, very simple. First, first one is to grab the video, and then um, the column is post status, and the value is pending. And then we download the video. Yeah, you can just feel the video here. In the heart of the jungle. This is a video created in the first workflow. Yeah, and then we are going to use this node uh, that is connected to the YouTube account and then we can just um, input the original code uh, film uh, I mean the category name or ID input binary field and then the title etc yeah and then we can just update the video status here for the Google Sheets yeah basically you can just copy and paste um, the settings here yeah and as you can see the post it is posted and then with uh, we have provided the posting time as well so yeah basically it's how it works for the second workflow and I hope you enjoy this whole tutorial uh, for uh, producing faces videos um, uh, short videos on YouTube channel um, hope you enjoy this um, see you next time